everybody, this is William here, and welcome back to another tutorial video here in Cinema 4D, which where I'm gonna show you guys how to um uh, how to model a Minecraft item in the Cinema 4D, as you can see right here, the golden apple. It's beautiful and everything. So if you want to, you can always add the user data if you want to. Of course, I'm not gonna bother. Um, show you guys how to do the user data because this is gonna good, good, be otherwise gonna be a long tutorial. So what you will need is a Minecraft textures folder. So I'm gonna locate in the dot Minecraft folder, I guess. Um, this is what I saved out, and yeah, Minecraft, Minecraft textures. Oops. So yeah, uh, what we're going to model um, as a tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to model. Um, the uh, glittering melon. So, actually, wait. Actually, let's try something else. Let's let's do the melon. Uh, I'm gonna do the melon. And what we're gonna do is drag the melon a texture into the material here, and we're gonna call it melon to make it so we can easily um easily remember that. So now what we're gonna do is go create a plane. From the plane with a height 50, and then the segments both 16, and the orientation to negative Z. And then you can drag the texture onto the plane. Now it's gonna look all blurry and stuff, so as you guys can see. Now what you can do is press on the melon, and turn off reflectance. If you are in um, R13, let me do it. Uh, if you are in R13, what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click and you turn off specular and press none and it's pretty much the same. Um, in R17, you turn off reflectance and go to color, turn uh, turn sampling to none and right click plain black line. If you want to, that does not really matter. Now it's no longer going to be blurry as you can see. <coughs> Sorry guys, I am a little bit sick. So sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, so you gotta click on the plane, and you gotta call this melon if you want to. Um, we're gonna press C, so it's editable. So it's now a polygon object. Um, we're gonna go to polygon mode, and go to live selection tool. And what you're gonna do is just go to F4, which is gonna phone view. Now originally the display would be on line. We want to go uh, put this on run or shading lines. Instead of line, so now you gotta select all the black parts. Okay, so I selected all the black parts, so that it was pretty easy. Now what you can do is just press delete on the keyboard, and it should be deleted. And go back to F1. Now, if you got over to the point, two, if you have a busy computer, I mean you're rendering stuffs all the time, and your your computer is really lagging and everything. To make this less laggy, you gotta go to the point tool. So you can see the, all these points here is still going to lag your PC a little bit. Well, probably a lot. <coughs> Not sure if I mentioned I am a little bit sick, so yeah. No, so what you're gonna do is go to right click and press optimize, and it should be gone. Now going back to the polygon tool, I'm gonna press Control A to select everything and press D to get to extrude, or otherwise right click extrude. Now, now it's going to be like this. Originally, this is going to be in the settings for the original thing. So what you're going to do is turn offset to 3.125, which is one pixel in Minecraft. Var doesn't don't touch that. Leave that at zero, or otherwise you're gonna mess up everything. Turn. Uh, on create caps and turn preserve groups off and press apply and it will extrude it perfectly um, by 3.125 and you guys now it's 3d but the size looks really really awful so what we're gonna do we're gonna fix that how we're gonna do we're gonna go to layout and we're gonna press on startup uh, uh, sorry a BP UV edit sorry if um, my overlay is I'm covering it, so yeah. Now what we're gonna do is go to materials. Uh, we're going to see I see the melon. I'm gonna take that so we get the melon texture right here. Um, 
You don't have to do this if you're only modeling one item, so, yeah. Looks really bad. But what you gotta do is you gotta go to the, um, model tool. Model, and, uh, sorry, um, the polygons tool. So, and you select the live selection. And click on the melon so you can see you select. Go to F2, which is gonna be top view. And click on live selection. Um, uncheck only visible, only select visible elements. Uh, uncheck that. Now what you're gonna do is just simply select the whole top, just like that. And make sure you select everything, by the way. And there you go. I selected everything. Now what we're gonna do is go over to the um, UV polygons. Other than necessary stuffs for you guys, if you can't see it. So now you see it. It's like this. And you gotta go to UV commands. Uh, down UV. Uh, down the, on UV mapping. And press on stitch UV. So basically, it's gonna shrink everything inside it. So it does not look like it's going to be taking off. It's, it's not going to be like big or anything. So let's go back to startup. And as you guys can see, uh, it looks pretty nice already. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to F2, click on the melon, and you can see that is not centered. So what you're going to do is enable access uh, modification. And you can see we cannot, um, uh, what's that called? Uh, we cannot snap. We don't have the snap option anymore. Which you can easily do, um, here, by the way, in R13. If you are R17 or whatever, I go to mode and model, uh, then modeling, and then quantize, and enable quantizing, quantizing, um, put this 3.125 divided by 2, which is gonna be 1.563, and it's gonna move down by half, uh, so yeah, and there you go. Now it's in the middle. So if you're not sure, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can just move it forward like that. Um, and you're done. You're pretty much done. If we go back to right, so you're done. Now you have um rendered out a melon. No, uh, even if you know what I mean. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do items. I can add it to my item pack. Oops. Um, uh, where is it? I got five. Okay, there it is. So food, and I can just simply drop my melon onto one. There we go. So if I go to a new project here, I can double click on the melon, so I can easily see everything. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So that's how you render out how to model a Cinema 40, a micro item in Cinema 40. So I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give this a thumbs up. And, and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.